Hello, and welcome to Wreckage of the Old Boats, episode insert number here. You forgot again? I'm not even keeping it's track. It's been a lot. It's, it's been a week. I think it's two weeks. It's 49. Three. I'll correct myself in the post editing. Uh, in, 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 ep- by the way, in episode 69, uh, things will be really nice. Anyway, um, nice. sexual innuendos. Okay. Sure. Uh, last <laughs> we left off, you saw a goblin and it was like, ah, I'm going to kick its ass. So that's why initiative's already up. Because that was around when. Can you just drag us over to combat? Sure. Yeah. There we okay, go. There we go. There we go. The it's the goblin. It's the it's it's goblin Steve Irwin and his four crocodiles. His crocodile. Four... I'm sorry. <laughs> what what was that? I'm going to picture that. <laughs> <laughs> it like like Look, a this weird fan fiction. Look at all those crocodiles. They're like. Crowing cock a doodle doo. I'll do a cock a doo or something. All right, I guess. So, right out of the gate, Yasio. I'm gonna. I'm just. Wow, I have low health. <laughs> uh, yes, you do. You, uh, earlier, uh, earlier on, you just. You fell into some fucking uh, some goo after a goblin pushed you, and you did, it hurt like a fuck. That was not last episode, I believe. That was, that was a like a like, few episodes ago, and and we and then you were absent, and then you came back, and we like so shoved the, a bunch of health potions at you. Is this like the clip show episode where like we just keep calling back? To <laughs> well, it's been long enough that I think for us it's <laughs> been long enough for sure. Back to combat, so yes. So Yas was gonna look at his. Look over at these these friendly fellows. Look back at his wounds, and then turn to the rest of uh, these guys. You guys have this handle. I'm just gonna go over heal over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. You you go do that. Get your wounds checked out. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hide behind. I'm gonna a stone bed and uh, just cast <clears throat> myself. It's like a altar of some sort. All right, the discounted cover. Uh, I guess cure wounds. Really increases. Okay, so well, have I spent any spell slots? No. Oh. I'm gonna use uh, a level one spell to. Whoa! And not mean to use so many. <laughs> to use whoa. Oh. To use one level spell slot and accidentally input ten instead of. <laughs> Are you looking at my sheet? No, I've just done that myself a few times. Okay. Spend ten spell slots, which you don't even have, and explode. <laughs> uh, the goddess of magic does not appreciate you trying to use ten spell slots all at the same time. Cool. I guess I'll go fuck myself. Says the that paladin that can do that with his smite. Mm-hmm. Technically, that's my that's my turn. I. That was a very effective. Ec- <clears throat> What's your appoint person within smite distance? <laughs> <laughs> Just stating the pot uh, the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> my God. Christ. My Yasuo and I dick punch you. Anyway, since it is my turn, and this is quite the troublesome looking foe, uh, I am going to have to have an have at the at some of these individuals as I use a bonus action to size up the uh <coughs> <coughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to size up this goblin right there. This gobbo in there. Yes. Right. Uh, so I am going to use one of my uh, featured abilities of my uh, skill sets, where I have some insightful fighting. I use my insight check against their deception check, and if they fail. 
I will have for one minute advantage on that singular individual. Do you have part of that? Yes, that's his character voice. He's allowed to do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so I will st- roll that, and it is exactly at the base minimum of which I would have received regardless. So 23 right. to defeat with your deception. This, uh... Well, I didn't beat that. It's probably the lowest I've rolled so far without getting a one. <laughs> a two? All three. right. A three. Oof. Well, we can still do worse. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if uh, I can roll a two. So let me just put up my count timer there. As I take out my bow and arrow, and I level it, as I do have the bow and arrow in my weapon slot, that's where it's located, and I level it right at said goblin, and I fire with a thwang. And it's thwang, and why are you firing at him? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is supposed to be normal, right? Let me double check my inside for fighting. Because I, I have sneak attack. But I just want to make sure that I have advantage. Uh, if you succeed, you... Uh, this is what I used. So if you succeed, you use your sneak attack against the target, even if you don't have advantage on the attack roll but not if you have disadvantage on it. So, do okay. I do I hast disadvantage against him? Not currently, no. All right. So, I will use my normal bow. Does a 17 hit. Yes. Ah, yes, good. So, that means the sneak attack goes off. Adding an additional 19 damage to that 7. So that's a total of 26 damage. Okay. Oops. What the hell? All right. All right, I started you off. It goes right into uh, right into his gooey... Flesh and just like spurts out a little bit of uh of, of the black goo onto the floor, and he just looks down at the arrow and just like, "Ow!" Yes, that's supposed to hurt. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> How dare you have all this hurtful goo going all around you? How dare you have arrows going right in my chest? You fucker. <laughs> By the way, Gabe, croissant, like, what is the damage type of the black goo? Uh, necrotic. Okay. Good, good, good. Ebony. Okay, so everybody's at a safe distance, right? I guess. It appears like, so. I believe 30 feet. Where is the thing? Because I could attack all of those guys with Cone of Frost. Oh, shit. I mean, if you position it like here, you wouldn't hit any of us. Or just like on. Uh, how does Cone of Frost, it, does it center on you as a person? Or does it center on somewhere else on the map? It centers somewhere else on the map where I put it. Oh, okay. So it cones usually just like originate from you and then expand outward. That's why I wanted to. Oh, then maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. Where is it? If it didn't cone, you could just like go here and then go pew. Pew. Depending on how distant it is. No, I'm thinking of ice storm. Ah, there we go. Ice pounds to the ground in a 20 foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. Each creature in the cylinder must make a dexterity saving throw. Oh boy. That one. Oh. And it's a level four. Hey, 
Get wrecked, scrubs. Mm -hmm. So, useful block description, uh, saving throw, damage. All right, everything should be correct. So, I cast spell. Okay. Ow. Uh, ooh, where, where are you centering that? Right there. Right, right on his butt. Right there. Okay. Yeah, 20 yeah, gets yeah, like in this space. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I'm just like, everybody stand back. I am tired of this. Let's do this. It also gets maybe Evelyn, so that's a no. Well, like, weird Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Spooky Ma Evelyn. Mabelyn. <laughs> At that point, Ebony would notice her over there, I don't think, so it's not personal for her. Besides, we have Evelyn right here, so. We already got an Evelyn. Everything's fine. That's why she wouldn't notice the other Evelyn. Okay, let me just... I just hope they're not connected, so when one feels pain, the other feels pain. That's the last thing we need. I mean, it's probably going to turn out that way, but we have to find out somehow. That's oh. true. Yeah, I noticed you doing dealt the exact same amount of damage that uh, Nice just did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like so... The only ones that succeeded were one of one of the uh, uh, goo dogs and the goblin. Okay. Goo dogs, goo, goo dogs, dogs. and uh, so the ones. Half damage. Yeah, yeah, the ones that did take the the full brunt of it aren't looking very good, and it uh, seems like okay. So, all right, these are the ones that pecked up and they're not looking so good. Cool. Right on real well. No pun intended. <laughs> All the puns and <laughs> All right. Uh, was that your turn? Uh, I could also move, but I think I'm gonna stay worrying. Okay. Give me a hot second. We'll be right back. Okay. Ah, yes. Well, we cannot okay. raise the temperature of a time unit. <laughs> so, any plans of attack that we have in the uh, arsenal? I gotta. I'm gonna slap the goo. All right, that was a hot second. Back. Oh, okay. That was a hot second. <laughs> How hot that second was! This is like mm. thirty degrees Kel thirty thousand degrees Kelvin. It burned right through my skeleton, and I am a ghost. All right. Their turn. And what they're gonna do? Um, all right. So they point their sword forward. Hmm. As uh, you notice on the ground, spots start appearing. Uh. Oh no! Well, this isn't good. Well, I can't for, for you guys, that is. <laughs> huh. Weirdly enough, when I'm trying to draw in that area, it doesn't do anything. What do you mean? There's a black spot that appears on Arn. Okay, it's not showing for me. It's weird. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Yes, Arn was. I put it in the back and it's still not okay, whatever. As long as you guys are able to see it. Uh, uh so I'm just moving our and forward so that people can see this is the okay. and uh, I could see it just fine. Alright, so spot is underneath Ebony, but that's okay. I'm going to need a dexterity save for everyone in that path. Okay. Which is a good majority of us. Yeah. So What's the path against the... To 10 by 30, it looks like. Straight line. All right. And keeping in mind as well that um, uh, I just okay, want to... Okay, keep... so that's the 27, right? <laughs> yeah. You also add plus four to your uh, saving throws because I'm near you. All right. Oh, boy. All right. So, wait. There we go. Is this normal advantage or disadvantage? Normal. 
normal. Huh? Unless you get a unless you're me. Oh shit. Oh, I oh, 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 oh fucking boy. Uh for future ref Friends hunt on your sheet. There's a thing kind of at the bottom of the core stats where it says sa saves and skill checks, saving throws, ability, skill checks. Those should be at zero right now. Yeah. But since you're near Jacob, you can replace the zero and saving throws. With so okay. 24 yeah. and Jake. Wait, why did you roll twice? Because okay. I have advantage because of my monk thingy. Area of, area of effect spells. Oh, all right. Evasion. Yeah, that thing. Uh, I thought yeah. that meant. I thought that like man, like if you succeed, you take no damage. Not that you have advantage. No, I have advantage, and if I succeed, then I take no damage. But if I fail, I take half damage. Oh, yeah, right. that's oh. evasion, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, uh, everyone, too. all right. So Aaron, uh, Tarnock, and uh, Ebony, you're able to move out of the way of the path in, like either up or down. Uh, Jacob, you're getting hit by this. No oh, boy. I use Jacob as like a platform to kick off of. <laughs> <laughs> Why is our just dead in sent in the front? What is this? I I've, I tried sending her back in, in to the back like several times, but she's like, no, she disappeared you. for me. Yeah, now she's in the she, back behind it. She's in the back <laughs> behind it now, buddy. Be right there. Arn's like right here for me. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, she's, she's right, right here. here for me. She's Arne. right here. She's right here. Move your pug again. Oh, look, okay, there it goes. Hey, okay. I just moved her. So, uh, okay. I'm just gonna. So we're also, Arne, literally like above that. Turn off and I are moving our pugs out of the way now, or. I, I don't know. Do we just move like out the way of the goop path? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so how tall is the ceiling? 30 feet. Also, um, technically that should be a 10, by the way, because I add my shield DC to my shield AC modifier to you the uh, still baby the one. because the shield master. Still rolled a one. I'm dead. Oh boy. Uh, I'm set. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay. Um, if you are subjected to an effect that allows you to make a dexterity saving throw to take only half damage, you can use your actions. No damage. You can see. Okay, never mind. All right. Oh shit. Okay. As as you as a, a puddle just forms the, the 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 pool that the goblin's currently in just rapidly extends to the door and just goes across your feet, and it, you just still feel it through your whole fucking body, and it hurts. And that's his turn. Turn on. Cool. I see Jacob like holding his knee, going, "Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it!" Oh, you know what? All the noises. <laughs> damn, put that thing back where it came from. Or so help me, dude. No, hey, as long as he's throwing shade, I'm gonna have to be throwing beeps. <laughs> uh, I do a forward combat roll, and then. Remember, I, I can... Yeah. Hungry Flames. Hungry Flame? All right. And this direction. Sometimes I forget you got like a, like a, a ranged option because you, you generally tend to bite the shit out of things. Yep. I have my, I have my futuristic bow, too. I fucked up and saved. Uh, wait, how far does it extend? Uh, 15 feet. So, uh, nope. Okay. Yes. So, all these guys except this one. You survive this time. Okay. So, wait, is it? Okay, it's not that much. That's. Okay. The one at the top is really not looking very good. Uh, let's check the airplane. Plus. 
Okay. Make the goblin crispy. Yes, he's looking a little crispy, but he's dusting himself off. Cool. And then I'm going to just crack my neck, smack my tail on the ground, and then point to the goblin and be like, come on. I do like the little hand gesture. <laughs> and I'm going to do uh, bonus action, step of the wind, not step of the wind, the other one where basically I give I give them disadvantage attacking me using my bonus action. Uh, what's it called? Just, just dodge. It's just dodge. I forget what the name of it's called. Yeah, it's 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 a dodge. Yeah, I thought there was like a name of it, fancy, but down to eight key points and. I know, seven key points. Seven key points, and I have dodge on. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. Uh, these are the boys' turn. As they uh, attempt to nom on Aaron. Uh-uh. Uh, AC is 18. Oh, that just gets it. Wait, wait, is that Aaron's? Aaron's AC is a 15, so oh. it definitely gets it. Okay. She has the worst AC, you guys. Oh, I, wait. Literally, when I hit, literally, when we hit 12th level, I'm taking that goddamn armor feat so that Aaron can, like, actually wear decent. Okay. I think you have the same AC as me. Who has the same AC as me? Someone. Uh, <laughs> All right, so that's 12 piercing uh, damage, and I'm going to need you to roll a strength saving throw. All right, let me just math real quick. Wait, so oh, they're biting wait, and dragging No, I can just brain. do the fucking thing with the goddamn... Uh, uh, minus 12. Nice. Nice. Oh, goddamn. Am God I damn. Stealing Jacob's shield raid? Uh, or- how, f- how far does that extend, uh, Tim? Uh, only within five feet. Only five nope. feet? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not in that radius then. Uh, strength saving throw. No, right. so it seems to be like trying to pull you in as well as uh, bite you, but then you... As a free action, I bap it on the head and say bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> Tarnock feels its pain. Speed of Tarnock? It's gonna try to just you just hop out of the way of the bite. I do the same thing that Arn does. Bop. <laughs> just immediately. No. Okay. Next one. Also the same occurrence. God dang it. I do it again. Bop. All right. Uh okay, which Arn. Yo. The restroom. I am possibly about to waste my turn with this, but I would like to try some. All right. Uh, can I use this effect of the glove to make this puddle van? Huh. What is this? Yes. Well, that's what I'm going to do then. <laughs> so it's about the same limitations as the wall creation. So that's like 15 by. Just. How, how what? So, so wide? I'd have to. I'd have to check sometime. Uh. My god, it has been a while. Yeah. Uh-huh. But yeah, it, it's enough to create like straight up a clear path to them. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That that is the good and like make it so that like say fifteen by fifteen you said? Or like uh like five by fifteen. Okay. It's like a wall. So like, like so much or something. Yeah. Something. Like, just well, like, this enough that we can, that our melee fuckers can get up there and hit him without having to worry about stepping in goop. 
All right, we'll draw it on the map then. Uh, let me just. Uh, probably something like. Okay. Except more like. Because, you know, having to hop, so probably like. Uh, All right. I'm going to put him in an actual square instead of in the middle of a four. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. He looked menacing. He's just standing there, menacingly. <laughs> Not in an actual square. Okay, is that, that's an action, right? Uh, Yes. Okay, I'm going to then move myself. Right. Not in drag, hopefully not. Not in drag dip. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jacob. So Jacob's going to go ahead and pull himself out of the goop first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Of course. You know, tries to steady set himself against the wall because everything feels like it's on fire right now. Stop and <laughs> He's going to go ahead and produce a small vial. I'm just imagining a vial plushie, and it's adorable. And he just kind of stay, uh, uh, states, well, been waiting to use this in case of an emergency. I'm going to pop the potion of invulnerability. <laughs> you forgot I had that. <laughs> yes, I did. And holy fuck, that's <laughs> this is a certainly fitting place to use this. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, there comes a time when you need the potion of invulnerability. That's right now. Tim, I just want to say you're speaking very loudly and I can hear you over Haunt's set. Right? I just had to close my freaking door, dude. <laughs> I can hear Haunt on Tim's set. Wow. I can hear myself. The heck? All right. Fixing that. Because this house is smaller than it. You're also, echoing on my end. I'm confused. Yes, I am. I am echoing on your end. Anyway. All right. There we go. That should be better now. I don't want to hear any more complaining. Anyway. So does this mean you have resistance to everything or literally no damage? Uh, resistance to all damage. Oh, boy. You're, you are like a totem barbarian right now. <laughs> okay, now, question. Mm-hmm. Is potion drinking a bonus action or a normal action? Oh, that is an action. Okay. In that case, with my bonus action, I will also go ahead and cast Shield of Faith on myself. All right. All right. And I have now armored up. And with the rest of my movement, I'm going to go ahead and start moving this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Goodness. And uh, Jacob just kind of calls over to the rest of the group and says, like, spread out. Make sure that they can't get uh, make sure that we can't all get caught if uh, that happens again. Indeed. I can jump, though. I cleared a path to the little goblin if anyone needs to. Yep. Okay. Yasio. Yeah. Uh, all right. So either I can power behind this rock bed. What the hell was this again? This is uh, like a little stone altar that's been uh, set ajar. This whole room's a mess. Yeah, that's probably right. All right. Um, <clears throat> God damn it, Jacob. Why are you so near me? <laughs> Enemies will come near me and attack me as well. You fuck. Oh, he's sounding a lot <laughs> like Fathom to me. <laughs> Yasio is our temporary replacement Fathom. <laughs> Those two are going to get along. Jacob's just like <laughs> Jacob just kinda just Jacob just kinda like stands there for a moment, glaring outwards for a moment. It's like 
You know what? I think I'm regard. I think I'm going to uh, not. I don't know if I'm missing Fathom anymore or not. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. So what you doing? Uh, all right. Um, all right. Since I'm behind here, I might as well just uh, attack. Mm. I'll help out. My boy. You protect. Uh, you run away. You attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help out my boy turn off the bit of Eldritch Blast. Okay. There it is. But this is too good. Okay, so I need to roll three. Oh, yeah, no, three times. Jesus. Okay, so uh, for, hold it, hold a minute. What are, what are those hitting? Uh, right, right, right. I didn't tell you. Uh, I'm hitting this one. Okay, so that one is straight, straight up obliterated right now as its head just explodes after the second beam. Okay, that can't be the the uh, last one. Let's go to this one. Okay, roll it. There you go. <laughs> punctures right through it, and he's taken out two of them. My kill! They were very low in health. <laughs> Good job, Yasio. Thanks. Ugh. Sorry, Tarnock. It's okay. And I just end my turn by cowering behind this, this stone arm. It gives you room to go after the little munchkin. Mm. Who are you calling the munchkin? How dare you? You munchkin, you tinier than Tarnok. I could probably attack him from here, but I'll do that on my next turn. Rick. All right. Well, given that I know Tarnok's going to go close range next turn. You don't know me, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my bow. I'm going to put the arrow <clears throat> against the string, pull, and then fire once again. My goodness. All right. And since I still have my auto sneak attack on him, meaning I've sized him up properly and I kind of can understand where his... Uh, Weak points tend to be okay. Does a fifteen hit? He ducks right under that. It's like ah, quit doing that. <laughs> ah, <laughs> now, I don't have another attack I can do. And let me actually. I'm gonna stab you. And love to see you try. I'm as, gonna. As I, you know what? As I get in that to a closer location to Tarnock and that's that's all I can do then okay Ebony turns are going yeah. surprisingly fast because we yes. know what to do I'm gonna go ahead and use the same attack that I did before okay and that is ice storm and I am going to do it where it starts off over here, so it hits this guy. Hopefully right. not. Well, if it's a concentration spell, it'd probably still be on. You can just move it with a bonus action. Uh, oh, okay. Do I need to re-roll them? Well, yeah, the damage, definitely. Okay. Oh, if it's a con. So then I will cast spell. Yeah, oh no, I, Ice Storm disappears immediately. It's not concentration. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not know that. All right. I was going to say, that'd be broken as shit. Yeah. I'm rolling here very good. I'm, I'm, I'm quite content with it. So, so you're, you're going over here? Yeah, just so that I'm hitting the guy, but I'm also not hitting you back. You're hitting Tarnock. No, 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 no. Not there. Not there? Back here. Back here. So. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because I want to hit this guy. Since the other uh, okay. boop doggos are already down. Okay. There's no use in trying to beat a dead horse. So. Or it's a dead beast. Mm -hmm. All right. So you start bludgeoning him with with ice again from from this uh, that appeared just straight up from the ceiling. It's like ah. I'll stab you all. Gotta get close enough to do that without using your goop. Again, love to see you try. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move up. Wait, I need to make sure I measure this. I can't use Misty Step after using that, which means I can only go regular amount, which I think is 30 feet, unless there's something hindering me, but I don't think there is. I'm going to go up here. Nope, that's 20 feet. And that is my turn. All right. So, uh, the Skirblin right here raises his sword upward this time as you hear this like a scratching on rock and dirt as something just comes out in the hallway. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like it either. Ooh. Oh, big no. pepper. Oh, no. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. <laughs> oh, I see that. I moved. <laughs> I remember seeing this guy. Mm. <laughs> okay. Jacob, you want small one or big one? Jacob just kind of looks over at Tardock and says, you know what? Screw it. I'll take the big one. <laughs> okay. You're a fool, but brave man, Jacob. And I pity you. <laughs> Especially considering the fact that it's either going to come after you or it's going to come after me, Yasio. <laughs> That's why I pity you. <laughs> Yasio, hi. I'm already doing that, Tarnog, but I'll try my best. Okay, you should stop yelling to give up position. Maybe you should stop yelling at me to give me away. Good point. So wait, I should yell more then? Like, Shut up, all of you. And he just books it behind this altar right over here. Oh. <laughs> the little <laughs> the little sword we have has just ran off. Turn <laughs> up. <laughs> cool. Step of the winds, increasing my jump distance and everything, and I'm going to hop on this dead body and jump over. Okay. Uh, roll athletics. It was at this moment the goblin knew he fucked up. <laughs> Maybe. Dirt? 18. Oh, all right. Yeah, you hop right over that. Cool. And then... Uh, See, that was about like 25 feet, so Oof. I definitely got enough. Uh, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 45, then my next movement. Uh, da -da. And I just ah! behind the goblin and smile. What the hell? <laughs> and then I'm going to knee him in the face. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, because you're like level six or something, your like unarmed attacks are suddenly magical now, right? They are magical, yes. I have magical mm -hmm. feet and teeth and tail. My God. All right, that hits. And then, like, I'm just doing a combo as he's like, as I knee him up, I'm going to bite him in the air. All right. Oh. Why is it only two? Why is it only two? It's an additional 1d6. 
Oh, well, that's why it's only two as an additional for the crit. But then, like, uh, my, would my gauntlet of warmth add extra damage then? Or Nah. Okay. That still has a lot of fucking damage. It's a lot of fucking damage, though. My god. You bite him midair. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yep. And that that's all I can do. And I'll pass my turn. Hey. Uh, these things now. Wait, can I mimic the dogs and, like, hold them in my teeth? I think I would count that as a grapple. I'll do it next. I want just yes, grappling styles. Yes, good, 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 good. Inventing new things. Well, thank you, Tarnock. <laughs> We've invented a phone network, a grappling style, an entire... T- <laughs> I know, <We> right? <laughs> Fucking industrious <laughs> bastards. <laughs> the Nox style. It's like... By the, time, by the time we're done with all this shit, we're going to have invented the uh, the Peach Phone. I don't know. The Peach Phone? The, the Peach Q Phone. I don't... Anyway... Uh, so the this big this big boy over here, big red boy, is big big goo wolf I, I dog that. comes over oh, and no. tries to numb on you. What is your AC? AC? Yes, I got nineteen. I okay, figured. so they charge around the corner through like the hallway through the goo, and it's like just narrowly avoid. It's like just takes a chunk out of the ground beneath you. It's just pump away uh, from there. Okay. Admittedly, I don't know why I did his turn first. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah. well that happens. Way. <laughs> At least it's not like doing his turn before, say, Tarnok's turn or something. Right. Yeah. Now, this dog over here is going to go and try and numb on Ebony. Wait, what? wait. Is that. Does that give me a re- a attack of opportunity, or is it because he's still? He's still in your reach. Okay. Right. Uh, what is your AC, uh, Ebony? Okay, AC is under course staff. Yes. Or... Okay. AC. Because uh, you're unarmored and you're armored AC. Okay. Do you want the armor or not? Are you wearing armor? Yes. And your armored one. Fifteen. All right. But manages to numb on your leg. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Uh, nine piercing damage. And I'm going to need you to roll strength. Strong. And strong. Normal? Yes. All right. It seems to like try to knock you down, but you managed to... Uh, Shake it off. You still do take the nine damage, though. Okay. Okay. I like how perfectly placed the orange circle is on the tail. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Convenient. Aaron. Yo. Um... I think Tarnox got things handled with Smoplin over there, and there's three against one over there, so I'm gonna help Ebony out with this wolf. Okay. I'm gonna actually just sort of smack it with... You're cutting in and out heavily, Nilf. Is the sensitivity of your microphone... Uh... I heard you that whole time. So it might be the microphone okay. system. Nudged it down a little bit. That's I am speaking a little soft, more softly than I usually do, so that might be it. But uh, slappy with the swordy. Okay, slap that dog. Uh, bad dog. All right, that uh, that takes right care of it. Awesome. Nice. Uh. Am I allowed to use a spell bonus action? Like it, the cast time is listed as bonus, but am I yes. allowed? To? Okay. 
All right, I'm going to cast this as a level four spell. So let me just update that in here right quick. Mm. And... Gee, heal a bit, okay? Boing. Yeah. I can't smack him because he's all the way over there. But... Jacob, uh, just kinda, Jacob just kind of looks up, you know, covered in goop, looking very haggard, and just gives her a thumbs up with a smile. Thanks, Aaron. Okay, gain 19 health. Yeah, 61. That's nearly nice. Nearly nice. Almost nice. Somewhat nice. It's close. It's sweet, is what it is. <laughs> yeah, <pretty much. laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Arn? Uh, I bonus and I action, so uh, I'm gonna just sort of loop over to like there and see if I can get a closer look at maybe Ebony. Maybe Ebony. Actually, I was standing there, so I could move like another. Boop. All right. So you're so you're pretty close, and she's just hovering there, like mid in midair. And she just look, she just looks at you, uh, just. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, what's sorry? What? Evelyn, what's? Hi, Evelyn. What's going? Uh, it tilts its head, confused. Right. Uh. Okay. We'll figure this out once we've beaten up the other things, I guess. Jacob. All right. So Jacob is going to go ahead and, well, he's going to move towards this bad doggo. Oh God! What the fuck? Roll twenty. What the fuck? Okay. Sorry. Uh, roll twenty for some reason. Decided to scroll me down the page for some reason while I was moving Jacob up. No, it's still doing that. What the fuck? Ah! Check your okay. scroll wheel. I'm my scroll wheel appears to be fine. Okay, anyway. Um, so, Jacob moves up to Bad Doggo. It's like, leave my friend alone! And he's going to slap it with a sword. <gasps> sword swap. All right. <gasps> and we're going to hit him with that sun blade there. Mm. How's that? 22. Oh, yeah, that definitely hits. All right. It just kind of uh, it just kind of slashes it across the face first. And I'm going to go in for a second attack. Okay. All right. And we're trying that again. Wabap. Fuck! Well, well, you miss. All right. You nearly trip over. All right, but it's at this point there that... I want to say that that was a feint, actually, right? I'm going to say that that was a feint. You know why? Why? Well, I'm going to use my bonus action to try and shove this monster into the wall. Oh? Because I have uh, I have the shield master uh, uh, feat, which means if you take the attack action on your turn, you can use a bonus action to try and shove a creature within five feet of you with your shield. So I'm going to try and shove it directly into the wall. All right. So what does that mean? away from Rick, especially? All right. So this is going to be an opposed athletics. Is that's how shove works? Yes. Huh. <laughs> Not bad. 19? Wham! And Jacob's going to use the rest of his movement to move forward into this thing. Um, question. Mm -hmm. It just moved out of Rick's attack range. Uh, that's only when it does that voluntarily, not from shoves okay. or spells or shit. On top of so, that, yeah, I'm Jacob using a bow and arrow. So Jacob just kind of like wh uh, uh, intentionally whammies the second strike so that he can then go in and just... Yes. With his shield. Intentionally. All right. Uh, wasn't intentionally, but he. But he made it work to his advantage. Yes. 
Yeah, like you you nearly slipped uh slipped backwards, but then you like spun around and was like slammed with the momentum. Yep. And uh just gonna keep him in the fucking corner, man. <laughs> yeah. Yasio. Um Yasio just side glances this Akiva double doggo and Sipo slides over to the other side of Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> Just dukes a hazard slide over the stone altar. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Anyways, I'm having issues, so that's probably why you don't see me as fog. All right. So what you doing, Jack? Okay, after he slides over to the other side, uh, he's going to throw Jake out a part of inspiration. Okay. And I'm not sure. Can you just can you just give one each day each turn? Uh, as a bonus action, I think so, yes. Okay. In that case, yeah, just give Jacob. And with my action, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast again on the uh Behemoth Doggo. Big doggo. All right. If I can access my sheet, I'll just be Eldritch Blast. 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 <laughs> we get crack we get copyright struck by the critical role team. Anyway. <laughs> really? They don't say it like that, do they? I mean the, the, the text blade is a thing, so yeah. I feel I feel like if you get copyright struck for saying something a certain way, then uh, that that's that. Yeah, no, I can't see them doing that. They'd probably uh, uh, it'd probably be someone pretending to be the critical role team. Ooh. Okay, so you fire off three Eldritch blasts like toward the uh, toward the big doggo, and every all all three of them just hit the wall and like scatter off like dust and. Behind the, uh, behind it. Damn it, I missed. It's okay, Yasio. Okay, I've, I've just raised, I've just raised Jacob. You're, wait, what? You're good, you're good, Yasio. Okay, thanks, Rick. And that's my turn. Speaking of Rick, Rick. All right, so I'm going to use my bonus action of insightful fighting to basically not be targeting the guy in the back anymore, but to target this thing. So I'm going to roll my insight Mm -hmm. to see if I can overcome its deception. So that would be 27. Yeah. Okay. So I get sneak attacks. Yay. But, but here we go. Instead of using my bow, I'm going to pull out my rapier. As, oh, no. as I uh, actually, you know what? No. No, what I'm going <laughs> to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out my dagger. Dagger. All right. Yes. As. A Assassin Creed style dagger comes pops out from my sleeve. And I run oh, run towards this unsightly beast and stab at thee. Alright, roll. So twelve hit this thing. No, it doesn't. Well then. And that uh, unfortunately ends my turn. Good try, though. And thank you, slightly aware Rick. Uh, Ebony. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cast. Maybe I'll wait and I'll cast this. Uh, description. Choose ten feet wide. Uh, just to make sure. Uh, 
not have to move over, but I want to work. But if I move closer, I'm gonna keep it better. Okay, so I'm gonna move back down and I'm gonna use what's it called? Literally called gust of wind. So I'm gonna move down here. Mm -hmm. That's about 20 feet. And I'm gonna cast gust of wind and it's just gonna go directly down to this guy. And it shouldn't affect these guys because it's a 10, oh, shit. 10 with radius, 60 feet straight across. Oh, God. All right. Well, roll. So I'm basically going to knock this doggo off his feet. That's one of my knock favorite spells. Everything. All right. Neutral block description. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Don't. I think I have to check the damage box. I'm going to go ahead and roll. What's your save, DC? My save, DC... is... Where would I find that? Because I uh, haven't... Wait, copy oh, your I spell book. My save DC in my core stats is for spell casting. It shouldn't be in your core stats. It should be in your uh, spell book. Ah, uh, okay. Then I'm looking in the wrong place. You can tell I haven't used this before. Right. Uh, let's see. It's like right at the top, uh, right under the spell dashboard thing. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. Is this from Druid or Sorcerer? Oh, it's both 14. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so let's run the last two starts. Okay. So at the start of its turn, it's going to need roll strength saving throw to be pushed. And this this whole blast of winch that suddenly comes out from your uh either hand or staff and just it, you see the 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 big goo wolf like squint as the wind just right fits right in its eyes. Cool. And it would probably be for my staff. So I just like bringing my staff over my head and be like, hey, giant goop dog, take this motherfucker. Stabs my staff on the ground in front of me and just wind push out from it. Goodness. All right. That's all I can do. All right. <clears throat> uh, this dude. All right, Tarnock. Uh, so he's going to be trying to hit you with his sword. Yep. Okay. Uh, your AC is 18, right? Yep. Okay. I'm grabbing my dice. Yeah, I should have got prepared beforehand, but no. That would have been the smart thing to do. This is part of the reason I like DMing for Mutants and Mastermind. I just have to have like 10 D20s at on me whenever I'm DMing. I don't understand. <laughs> just one. 10 D20s. Sometimes I roll different ones of different colors to be like, okay, this is that character. This is that character. Organization. Okay. So first things first. Uh, is that damage? And then these. Eight. Nine. Fifteen. Twelve. All right. So... Five bludgeoning damage and fifteen necrotic. Okay. As he does it again, uh, that also hits. Being eighteen, nice. All right, this is doing a little less damage, I think. Eight, nine, fourteen. All right, so fourteen necrotic and one bludgeoning, so fifteen. Cool. As he uh, uses a bonus action to disengage and then goes back into the goo. <laughs> hmm. Tarnock. Uh, before he starts his turn, what? Uh 59. Oh, hour. What? We're in an All hour. Right. 
Oh, we'll, we'll finish this round and then we'll uh, we'll pause it then. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, eh. Listen, I wanted to come back. Um, I'm gonna go over here, and then processing how much it hurt last time, and if I can kill him. Can you kill him quickly enough to, to <laughs> before you knock the fuck out? Maybe if you jump at him. I think back to what uh, everyone else was doing using range. I'm like, ah. And I pull up my bow. All right. <laughs> okay. What I trained with, and I line up his tiny little head. Dink. Dink. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, hopefully that doesn't hit anyone. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Well, uh, roll that again real quick. And ding. I swear to God, if he hits me, I'm going to be so... <laughs> I see this, everyone. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so just whizzes past, past Ebony's head and just wedges itself into the wall over there. It hits this bat that's been following us around. <laughs> <laughs> it, hits the, it hits the bat and hits it to the fucking wall. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <Jeez>. Ebony. <laughs> nice aim. <laughs> I try again. Okay. Yeah, basically. Not, not green. I can do this. I promise. <laughs> and, uh, in the side no. attacks. Wow, Tarnock is not good with range. <laughs> and well, just... Wait, hold on a second. What are you doing? Oh wait, yeah, no, this ain't a dart. Bonus yes. action. I throw my dart at the guy. <laughs> That's a monk weapon. Yeah. Okay. I throw my dart at him. <laughs> oh my god. It's like throws it into his foot. God damn it! The dart hit him. Okay, now hold on a second. Like, the, the bonus act, the, the two extra attacks, it's just based on the, the extra attacks. But you can only do, like, additional attacks with your unarmed. And monk weapon. The dart's a monk weapon. No, 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 no. Like, the... Hold on a second, let me check. That's what I run. This is why you bring books, everyone. Learning is power. Right. I assume well, you have this written down. Th this is why we do this in between sessions or or whatever. In GM All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no for now but if i'm and, and check in between but if i'm wrong then i'll give you inspiration uh for the next part sure all right that's all i can do all right, all right. so yeah I'm, I'm going to count that as not a thing you can do currently is there anything else no that's all i can do okay uh this big boy over here uh, is going to try to numb on Jacob after uh, Jacob hit him with a really glowing, painful sword. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, let him hit. You just block it with your shield. You're just chewing on it, drooling all over your shield, and you oh, bat gross. it away. Ew. Oh, gross. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Why you got to do that? Betcha. All right. Bad. Aaron. Uh, all right. Seems like Tarnok needs a little bit of a hand over there. So I'm going to does need uh, quick question. Does it look like he's wearing any metal? Uh, he is wearing a loincloth, and that's about it. Okay. He's From experience, sword, is the armor that is the sword like, because it looks like the same material as the armor. Is that metal? Uh, it's not metal. It's some weird fucking thing. All right. So the return of heat metal shall have to wait. <laughs> yes. God, how 
<laughs> like how dare, how, you. how dare you prevent me? <laughs> you know what? In retaliation, I'm going to do something incredibly. Uh, <laughs> oh no! It's uh, creates one more for each slot. So that is. So that is going to be this. Uh, I am casting magic missile and as an eight is a sixth level spell. Ooh. <laughs> Just like eight, six darts form around me. Ding, 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 ding. And they all just bludgeon it in, 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 right in the head. It's just like, it's like that. It's like that anime thing. It's like that anime Gundam thing where the missiles fly out and they just kind of like curl around the target before they just all. Christ. Uh, are you able to see the thing over his head? Yes. Yeah. Looks yeah. like okay. he's hurting pretty badly. Pretty badly. Yeah. My God. Anything yep. else you doing? Uh, I think Tarnox still has bardic inspiration from the last time I cast. I used that on him, so... Uh... Oh, I forgot I had that. <laughs> hey, why didn't you tell me I had that? Yeah, it's... Oh, man, you could have used that for your bow. It's yeah. right It's yeah. right there. It's it's like hovering, but that's, that's all I'm doing. I thought it was a flying chicken. Jacob. <laughs> all right, so Jacob's going to turn to his dog. I do have bardic inspiration, yes. I can use that on damage rolls, can't I? Yes. All right, so first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply... Yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to apply Divine Smite with a second level spell slot. And in addition... uh, I'm going to do Divine Smite at a second level spell slot, and I'm also going to go ahead and do... Question: um, If you throw something into, if you if you knock something back again and say it hits a wall, does that do even more damage? Or like ricochet? Yeah, like if you were to say, if I were to say, hit them with, um, what was it? I think it's like thunderous smite. I'm trying to find it here. Oh, and they get knocked backwards into said wall. And they and they get knocked backwards into the wall, yeah. Like, would that do even more damage, or would that just kind of go like, eh, this isn't comfortable? Potentially. <laughs> All right. I don't even know where Thunderous Smite is, though, so I'm not even going to bother. Anyway, um... I'd imagine to deal environmental damage, depending on what, what this does. All right. All right. And I'm going to try and hit it, there. And first attack. Oh shit! <laughs> first attack. Holy fuck! You Wait, you we're adding a smite to that. How much? How much is it? Uh, is so that would be. <laughs> Hold on, I need to remember what's what. Uh, okay, it's been a while. Okay. <laughs> oh my fucking! Because with the smite dice, that's gonna add some stuff as well. 1d8, so that would be uh, 2d, uh, that would be 3d8, uh, normal smite. Okay. So that's 68 then? Uh, 68, yep. Roll. Alright. Hey, will you get to add your strength modifier to your crit? Yeah, I did. Well, why does my fist not add my deck? Okay, that's an additional thirty-four points of damage plus a D twelve for the for the uh, inspiration. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so through holy might, you split this fucker right in half. <laughs> it's like Jacob. Jacob basically like um, puts the uh, brings the sun blade backhanded, essentially wedges it into its into the side of its jaw, and then just kind of cuts along the side and just like. <laughs> No, Tim, you know what it does? Hmm? This, this is made out of pure radiant energy, right? Yeah. It just expands itself. It just lights it out. Yes. Oh, it is vulnerable to radiant, so that's a lot more damage, too. So. <laughs> Sli- um, slight flourish turns to uh, um, uh, 
turns to uh, see what, how Aaron is doing. Aaron, are you okay? Huh? I'm completely fine over here. Tarnock needs some more help more than me. You see Tarnock just like throwing his arrows at me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's trying to use his arrows as darts. Yeah. Right. We'll, uh, we'll see how that goes in the next part. See y'all in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Bye.